In this video today, I am actually going to do a tag and I wasn't tagged, but I am proud to say that I am a skincare addict. And if you wanna hear more, stay tuned. Oh, and before I get into the tag questions, I was looking at my statistics and 68% of you folks, you folks out there, my friends, some of you leave comments, 68% of you are not subscribed to the channel. Can you imagine if every single one of you hit that subscription button, that notification bell? Can you imagine how wonderful that would be for me, for the channel's growth? It would be totally, totally awesome. So if you're one of those 68% of you out there, please consider subscribing. I would truly appreciate it. Thank you. And now stay tuned for the tag. Hey guys, I am going to do a tag video. Yeah, I know there's so many tags going around, but sometimes I think they're absolutely really interesting. Some of them, not all of them. But anyways, I was not tagged for this, but I watched this tag video and I said, I gotta do this. And the tag is actually called, I'm gonna be reading on my iPad. The tag is actually called the Skin Care Addict Tag. And apparently it was originally created by Lisa Stevens. I will link her video below, but I actually watched it on Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom's channel. And Melanie is just a lovely young, younger woman, and she's a mom, and she's a working woman, she's a wedding florist, she does all sorts of really cool reviews on her channel. You probably all know her, she has naturally gray hair, and it's absolutely stunning and Mr. Kong the reason her channel is called Mr. Kong's mom is Mr. Kong is her adorable little pug so I I think that's pretty interesting anyways I watched her video and I'm going to tag her video below and I decided I was going to do it so I'm going to read the questions and answer the questions there are eight questions and if anyone else wants to jump in be my guest. Question number one, how many products are in your skin care routine? So that's kind of like interesting because it does fluctuate depending on the season, depending on what's going on. But typically I would say there are a good solid 10 products that are in my skincare, I'm not talking makeup, I'm talking skincare routine that I alternate between. So easy 10 products. The brand you have the most favorites from. Ooh, the brand I have the most favorites from, skincare, I will have to say probably timeless in skincare. Makeup foundation that'd be completely different, but I would have to say it's timeless because I use a lot of their serums and a close tie with the ordinary. Oh, they actually might be tied, I'm not too sure. Question number three What brand do you like the least? I don't have a least favorite brand because if there's something I'm not interested, I'm not going to purchase it. So I really do not have a least favorite brand whatsoever. What brand do you have on your wish list that you haven't tried yet? So that's another interesting way to, you know, interesting question because I'm just going to say that I really don't have anything on my wish list because anything that I have on my wish list, I typically will save to buy. I won't deny myself, but I will plan it smartly. So I think I've been able to buy all the products that I really, really, really wanted to buy on my wish list. Question number five, what product gave you the most visible results? Hmm. I would definitely have to say that's Retin-A for me. Uh, Retin-A and maybe hand in hand tied with my collagen supplement, visible results. I really, really believe the collagen supplement that I've been taking since January of 2016 in conjunction with the Retin-A, um, has made a huge difference, but visible would maybe Retin-A because that has, I think has worked on the wrinkles where the collagen may not be so visible to people. How's, how's that for an answer? Number six, 
What products do you believe have the best value? Ooh, the best value. Products with the best value. Um, and you know, it's gonna be subjective because I'm always amazed when I watch a content creator's video and she will talk about a product that I'm having great results with and she'll say, Egh. so it is a very subjective thing because we all do have different skin. But I would say products with the best value for me day in and day out, I would I would definitely say it's my Retin-A. I, I, I don't think I would go without that. Um, yeah, so to me that's the best value. Yes, it's expensive, yes, it's prescription, but there are, are ways that it's affordable, can be affordable. Products that are worth the splurge. Oh, products that are worth the splurge. Right now for me would be my hair shampoos, my Nutriox. In general, it's an expensive system, although it's much more reasonable than some of the other hair care products and so far for me that's been worth my splurge and obviously my retin-a my bee venom which is not expensive at all so i would say the products that are worth my splurge is going to be all my skin care products put together all the things that i do those 10 products that i say that i use they're all worth the money to me without a doubt Newest skincare product. My newest skincare product. Oh, let me show you. Oops. My newest skincare product is the Olay Eyes Pro Retinol Eye Treatment. And I have probably been using this for about a month, maybe a little bit longer now, I'd have to really look it up. So this is my newest product. Am I ready to do a full-blown review on it? No. Can I tell you my initial feelings? Yes, I like applying it. I think it's, it's helping, at least I believe it's helping. And of course, that thought process, believing something in your mind, might make it actually in your mind be true. I don't know if that makes sense. But I like how it applies. I do use Retin-A near my eyes. I have used a 0.25 near my eyes and gone really close to my bags, but I have not been able to do put anything on right underneath it and really close to the lids that I felt comfortable with. And so this has has been okay on that. I've had no um, I've had no issues or no reactions using this. The other thing that is my newest product, I'm gonna to mention too, is I've been using a different eyelash serum. So my newest, and I guess eyelashes are part of skincare. So this newest eyelash serum that I'm using is called Blink, and it's a, and I'm gonna pronounce it wrong, Bittermost, same ingredients that Careprost. So I've been trying that, and I have noticed in the, the short period of time, for me it's been about six, going on six weeks now, that my lashes, my natural lashes have gotten darker and they've gotten thicker. And so that's like really cool. So those are my two latest, latest products. So yeah, um, you know, it's really, it's really hard to, to when you really think about being a skincare addict, you know, what are those products and to answer these questions. And I know there's many, many products out there that I probably would want to try, but when it, when it asks the question about the wish list, if a product is unaffordable for me in the sense of using it on a regular basis, I don't even want to try it. So if I can, if someone said, here's a real expensive cream, I want you to give up all the other stuff and use it for eight weeks. And then after that, I'm gonna pay a hundred and a quarter for it. I probably would never do it. I, I wouldn't give up what I'm using to try a high-end product. So to me, all the products I, and I am a skincare addict, I am completely, completely addicted to skincare, more so than makeup. And so yes, I'm a skincare addict and I am proud of it. <laughs> but I am addicted to skincare, but I am addicted to skincare that is affordable for me because I know if it's not affordable, 
I'm not going to be able to stick to it, if that makes sense. So affordability is very, very important. So yeah, I am a proud skincare addict and I think this tag is super, super fun. And if by any freaky chance you are not connected with Melanie, hop on over to her channel. I think you'll enjoy it. She's a really wonderful, wonderful, I think, person and I enjoy all her videos. She uploads a lot though, a real lot. So, but anyways, and, and jump in and do the tag. I think it'd be kind of fun. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will talk to you all later. Bye guys.